Hello, I'm Hayato Ito from Nagoya University, Japan. I will talk about the shown title. Parkinson's disease is the second most common progressive neurodegenerative disorder in the world. The progressive loss of dopaminergic neuron in the substantial nigra is the typical characteristic. To observe the changes in the substantial nigra, neuromelanin imaging has been proposed. Since neuromelanin exists in only the substantial nigra, this is a very useful tool for the observation. The purpose of this work is analysis of 3D patterns of substantial nigra. To achieve this, we propose a tensor based future extraction method for multi sequence MRI data, including T1 weighted, T2 weighted, and neuromelanin images with manual annotations. In the proposed method, we focus on the substantial nigra's interior intensities. In the proposed method, we decompose a set of three sequences into a linear combination of fourth order rank 1 tensors. In each tensor, third order rank 1 tensor expresses as basic three dimensional patterns and fourth order rank 1 tensors expresses a basic pattern of the set of three sequences. Therefore, Using only coefficients, uh, we can express a pattern of the sets. For the future extraction, we use future selection procedure. For normal and Parkinson disease cases, we compute the separabilities between them. And then we select a small number of coefficients that give large separability as a future vector. These are settings for experiments. We use the multi sequence MRI dataset of 155 cases and we extracted 100 dimensional future vector for each of them. In the experiments, uh, we check the distribution of extracted future vectors. After normalizing by add to norm, the future vectors spread on the fiber sphere. So we computed the cosine similarity between the mean vector mu in the normal case and the future vector. The right figure summarizes the different distribution in normal and Parkinson's disease cases. This result implies the discriminative performance of the proposed method. This slide summarizes the interpretation of the extracted futures. The top row shows the slices for the original volumetric data. The second row shows the reconstruction from the tensor decomposition. The last row shows the reconstruction from the tensor decomposition, where we remove high separability features. That is, the disappeared lesions are discriminated point in the classification between normal and Parkinson's disease. In this work, we propose a new feature extraction method for analyzing the pattern of the substantial nigra. The series of experiments validate the proposed methods. That's all. Thank you.